St. Tammany's Lone Shopping Mall looks like a ghost town. Now one of the last remaining retailers says it's uh, leaving the North Shore Square Mall for good. But parish leaders say no plans are in place to bring new life to the 600,000 square foot property on the north side of Slidell. Andres Fuentes takes a look at what neighbors want to see from their shopping center. Visitors to North Shore Square Mall see only a shell of the old retail center. All but a handful of the 3,000 parking spaces are empty for just the three stores still open. And one of the stores, Cons, is expected to pull out any day now after the nationwide bankruptcy case. You know, it's um, it's sad. You know, being an older guy, I remember when malls were a lot different to, to folks in my generation. David Manning is one of many Slidell residents who long for the glory days of a once beloved mall. I, I drove from Covington to Slidell to shop there. Uh, in the early days. Parish President Mike Cooper says that the site's owner, Morgard, has been working to bring in new life to the area for years now. Yeah, I, I don't know of any set plans, but again, it is poised at, at a great location, uh, close to hotels, the airport. Meanwhile, neighbors say other parts of Slidell are seeing economic booms, like the Fremo Town Center just 15 minutes away. I would be lying to you if I said that I didn't spend some time there myself. And with other nearby shopping centers staying competitive, or others adding living spaces and a clinic like over at Clearview Mall, Slidell neighbors want to see much of the same. Um, make it look like some of the mall areas that, that we have around here. Maybe it might be more enticing to get some of these stores to come back to. And while North Shore Square stands mostly shuttered and empty present day, parish leaders say it's a land of opportunity for someone in the future. So it makes for a, a very uh, attractive property for investors to uh, for mixed use development or uh, corporate development and some retail development. Parish President Mike Cooper also says since shopping has shifted more online rather than in person, it's been hard to attract other big name retailers.